Hello again, Loading Storm here, and today I, I before I go to Voltune, I, I just want to turn in this quest. Oh, we got an eight week. Yeah. Whoever you are, I, I think you were, I think he was like, I think you see him like doing like, in the Forsaken starting zone, I think. Well, the zone after the starting zone. Alright. This should, this should do it. Ah, oh, good. Lady Sylvanas issued orders for Corona half orkin to take on the task of great import. She will orchestrate missions from the Fancy's Whale, and is to assemble a strong force to execute on our plans. This effort will be vital to our war against the, the Alliance, and your assistance will certainly be necessary. We have assembled an elite group to execute the Dark Lady's orders. Overseeing this group is Garona Harfalken. She will orchestrate these missions with your help. Champion? Follow me. Okay. Oh, I haven't checked the, the insect. Dunno. Trade Prince Gallywix. That I gotta see that. Leave me. Our task is not to be taken lightly, Living Frost. I don't know. How to... I have begun to assemble heroes for our cause. Perhaps you already know Arcanus Valtras. We will need to recruit more in the future, but this is a promising beginning. Our mission will be those of subterfuge, reconnaissance, assassination, and other focuses like. Focus strikes against our enemies. Let us test the metal of this nightborn, shall we? Right. Uh, <laughs> looks like we're the one assigning her the quest, it seems. Right. Our communication talk more are being disrupted by alliance forces in the area and box. Alright. Nine. Now I gotta see what Twin Prince got. Nobody, and I mean nobody, that crosses me and gets away with it. The Ventico betrayed us in a deal for Azerite refining techniques. We need, we need pay. We need pay on what we owe him. If you're not picking up what I'm putting down, I mean that we need to kill that backstabbing upstart mogul, mogul Razdunk. You take care of him, I'll take care of getting what we owed. I suppose we ought to tell Bycar about this, huh? When he tells us what to do, just smile and nod. We'll handle it our way. This conversation stays between us. Got it. Huh. So that Hey, Mr. Blightcaller. I got some bad news. I right, what? Mogul Razdunk double-crossed us. It was crazy. I never seen the green bastard back out of a deal like that. You wouldn't believe. Pull yourself together, trained prince. Such babbling does not befit a leader of the horde. Well, excuse me, Banshee Prince. Sorry if I'm rattled after nearly getting killed. In a deal I was against making in the first place. The war chief will not be pleased. We were counting on Razdunk's methods of refining Azerite in our war against the Alliance. That deal was more trouble than it was worth. There is an easier way to get what we want. By cutting out the middleman, if you get my drift. Indeed. Champion, head to Kazan. Acquire the Azerite refining techniques we were promised. And make Mogul Razdunk suffer for breaking his word to the Dark Lady. Yeah, I'm on it. I have to go to Voldoon. I was, well, I did say I was going to Voldoon at the beginning of this, wasn't I? <laughs> <clears throat> so, 
the mother load can wait. Right now... Right now, I want to see what the ball doom is all about. General Jack Jacquazette detests the Horde and cannot be trusted. As long as he remains in power, the city will never be safe. We are not alone in our suspicions. Speak to Quintus Talandi to follow up. Wait. Is he a... Traitor or something? Uh, I'm not quite sure about that. Uh, I just don't think... I just don't think he... As I think he's just a loyalist. Zakwazet possesses a serious threat to my kingdom and your horde. It would be good for you to investigate his activities. General Zakwazet cannot be trusted. He is up to something, but I do not know what. Any who question his actions earn themselves a trip to the sands. As long as he remains in power, my city will never be safe. Speak to his guards. See what you can find out, but be discreet. We do not want to alert Zakwazet to our actions. Vengeance for the fallen. Huh. I guess he is a bad guy. Mm. Well, it makes sense. He was, like, overlooking what was going on. Going on over there with the blood trolls. What is your business here? Can you what can you tell me about General Jacquazet? Do you have a death wish? The general has eyes and ears everywhere. Huh. No, uh that one step. Done. I am listening. Hey, what can you tell me? Trying to get sent to the sands? Huh. What do you ask of the Zandalan? Out with it, living fast. I don't get paid to chat. Right? Okay. I do not ask questions. I follow orders. It would be wise for you to do the same. Hmm. Praise the lower of There is a price on your head. I don't have a target. Hmm. Strange. Hey, you. Yes, you. Are you the one that's been asking around about the general? I guess I haven't, I haven't been discreet enough. You are going to make more enemies than allies asking questions like that around here. Tandy sent you, didn't she? The princess needs to know that it is no longer safe to ask such questions so openly. War God, what... <sighs> Wakura spoke out, and no one has heard from her since. Rumor has it she was exiled to Voldoon. Zandala, walk with me. But let's try to avoid drawing any attention. War God Rakira was my commander. The best one this city has ever seen. She told me she was close to proving that General Jacquezet is a traitor to the crown, but I haven't heard from her since. Whatever she uncovered was enough to earn her a trip to the desert. The dunes are a death sentence. I will not stand by and let Rakira be swallowed by the sands. As you can see, there are still some of us who believe the same. Hmm. Right now, what? We will not let Waka, 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 and whatever she knows be lost to the sands. Whatever Waka uncovered, it was important enough to earn her a death sentence to the sands. We must head into Voldoon to find her. We cannot let whatever she knows about Jacquezet to die with her in the sand. In the dunes. The side when you're ready, but let's not waste time. Rakira won't last long in the sands. Mate, let's go. Oh, there we go. Travel to the swamp. 
As long as we stay in the air and out of sight, we shouldn't have too much trouble. Alright, what is this general up to? Interesting. And that, and that was some good mono, mono lights. Hmm. Beneath us, what are those things? Let's keep flying and hope we don't find out. Ah, uh, well, I don't know what those things are. I think. I think I will look at what they were. But trolls, they were but trolls. But trolls and their minions. See the pass. Fly low and keep an eye out for any sign of Rakira. Kaja, we should adjust course. We're nearing the Sethrak Empire. The Serpent Men? I thought they hid mostly beneath the dunes. It appears their presence has grown. So it has. Let's head west and avoid any unnecessary conflict. It might be too late for that. I mean. Oh, I see. Just speed things up. The king has lured the visitors. That could pose a problem. You do your part, General, and I will do mine. Oh, I see. Trespassers. You will die in these dunes. What the? Everyone, break ranks. Make your way to safety. Get as far from these snakes as you can. Ah, I got shot down. Ouch. We have orders to kill this one. Let us make it suffer. What the? Not today, snake men. What the? You still alive in there? You good with that weapon of yours? I'm all out of potions, and there's a whole lot of Sethrak between me and my wagon. If you're willing to fight, I can sure use some help. My people will be free. Um. Huh. Saved by one of these creatures. Seen the lounge, mostly at the pilot place, but then uh, now we now I can probably know what these guys are about. These snake men will pay for what they've done to my home. You must be special if the Sethrak didn't kill you right away. Either that, or you'd fetch a good price at the slave market. Don't worry though, we're getting out of here. I have a wagon at the entrance, but no weapon to fight with. Luckily, it seems Sethwack have plenty. Make them fear you. Uh. How about this one? Nice choice. I can work with that. I don't know what uh, the the significance of that Today will be. Is a good day to fight. Every you. Day. Using their own weapons against them. I like it. I'm ready. Let's hunt some Sethrak. Ah, yes, uh, excuse me. Volpera are stronger than we look. Uh, that's what they call Volpera. Well, whatever. Uh, whatever. The Sethrak attack on our burrows. The Sethrak's attacks on our burrows cannot be go unanswered. They need to learn that not all within the desert will give up so easily. The only thing the Sethlak understand is blood, so that's the language we'll use to teach them. Alright. I'm saying we need to kill the, Sethla the Sethlak here, all of them. Of course I understand that. Of course I understand the language of blood. Here, 
Kilo's the leader of my caravan. He's always been far too passive. I warned him we needed to make a preemptive strike against the Sethlak, but he insisted that we keep our hand, heads down and continue to quietly do business. Look where that got us. A caravan was completely unprepared for their attack. Now I'm ready to fight for what's ours, but I'm not exactly just for battle. Help me scavenge some sub suitable equipment here among our enemies. We will use their own tools against them. Leave some Seth rack for me. Okay, so let me get this platinum. That was silent. Anyways. Alright, so we're all the way over here. Look what the Sethrak have done to our home. Huh. I uh I uh I I can't tell. I mean, there's some fire and some cages. Uh, I don't know what your tome usually look like, so. Now the Sethrak will know to fear the Volpera. Alright, now uh, let's get these guys. Uh, yeah, sure. We weren't prepared for their attack. The Sethrak slaughter and enslave without remorse. Down. They are passive people. We travel in caravans, scavenging for supplies and trading where we can. And now they have to fight. The Volpera are anything but weak. They will fear us. No, oh, this little guy's out for blood. Little girls. Little girl is out for blood. Gal, my little gal. Yeah, that's a fuck word. Oh, uh, someone was ahead of us. Definitely. Me. That's me. Now then. These Sethrak will pay for what they've done to our home. My people will be free. Now we are ready for a real challenge. This one. Before we were attacked, I had a plan to take the fight to the Sethrak. I was the I it was devised with flawless intel. I know because I gathered the information myself. I survived Survey the, in the entire compound and create a map based on my findings. My plan relies on that map, but it's now in the hands of the Fang Callus Swaka, the Bluetooth leading this assault on my home. Help me kill her so I can take back what's mine. Winds at your back, swords in your hands. Right there she is. You call yourself faithless? Jeez, that's uh Why not something else like uh What's something else that also means faithless like uh Disruptive? No. 
Rebellious? Nah. Chemical so that only Nisa can understand what's written. Volterra are stronger than we look. Make them fear you. What's my... My grip didn't work? Yes, because of mounted or something. Super like that. Sethrak would come for us soon enough. We could have been prepared. Maybe now he'll finally listen. My plan for attack is both detailed and dangerous. This, these plans will be a key to taking the fight to the Sethrak. Winds at your back, swords in your hands. Now you just let me get this. Oh. Yeah, the choice weapon doesn't really affect anything, just the... Uh, fighting animation, I guess. Hmm. Two more. And I should probably kill two close to the exit. Probably. Ah, and there's some ore right there. Good. Oh, it's those two piles. Hello. I'm ready. Let's hunt some stuff. Yeah, I guess it's too far. Ah, oh, dang it, disease. What a bug. That's what we get, I guess. Aggroing things you're not supposed to aggro. I'm ready. Let's hunt some Sethrak. Today is a good day to fight. Their blood flows through the dunes back to their fortress. The Sethrak will think twice before attacking our bows again. Uh, I guess I'll get a sword this time. Alright, Living Frost. I think it's time we've made a one for it. Hopefully, my wagon's still nearby. I'll steer us to. I'll hide away. I just need to, you to lob explosive into any Sethrak who are brave enough to follow us. Leave some Sethrak for me. Oh, there it is. Right where I left it. Yeah, Blamas. Estes. Whatever. Hang on. This is gonna be a wild ride. Looks like we have company. Light him up. Okay. I think we're in the clear. Great work back there. That was quick. The hideaway should be up ahead. We'll be safe there. For a while at least. Still poisoned. Disease, I mean. It's not the first time we've seen a call with one of those critters. Beasts, whatever. Nisha, thank the sands you're safe. I always find a way. Is this another survivor? She may not survive the long range. Her wounds are severe. She's the one I came here with. 
I kind of need HUD to get back. I don't really know the fight path back. No. I guess I did. This is the toll you flew with, is it not? She lives for now. Alright, let's quit this. Man, it's been a while since I've wielded this big sword. Not since I've played on. Not since I just tried. Since I've tried the unholy spec in Legion. <sighs> Sorry. Just. Not comfortable with it yet. I was just checking it out. Whatever. Mila here found your friend in the dunes. The lightning strike nearly killed her. It might still, without treatment. The wasp within the grove have a painful sting, but their venom also has restorative properties. I can extract what I need from their glands. With an ample amount of venom, we should be able to sue your friend's wounds. Is this a friend of yours? I'm so glad Kiro let me keep her. He's a bit wary of outsiders, but he's a great healer. She'll wake up, I promise. And what she does, she'll be thirsty. Sands are short on water, but you're in luck. The grove that surrounds this camp is filled with pr uh, prickle vines. You wouldn't want to eat the flesh, but the liquid inside can quench any thirst. Let's give them a good squeeze to collect their juice. All right, so what did you bring me? This is what did you bring me? So I guess this one, these guys just go around the caravans and uh, scavenge. That makes sense. Why someone some of them turn to piracy, since that's kind of like. What they... Hmm. Hold on a sec. Where's that guy? Did he die? Oh no, he's over there. I just wanted to use my death and decay. Actually, what's the passive ability called that makes me, uh... Mm, I forget what it's called. Get ability that gives me some... That gives me a, uh, a free death in the cave. Alright, three more. And let's see what we have here. Have you come to trade? If, if we go in there, those things will get us too. I'm really too, Coda. Poor little Coda has been in quite a little tizzy since his friends vanished. I found him here, out cold, after a sting from one of those awful wasps. Just a tiny bit of a sand sting when the got Coda right up, though. Take some with you and keep an eye out for other little ones out there. Surviving means being resourceful. Oh, it's a meerkat thing. Here you go, little guy. Didn't even need it. What a waste. Alright, so not aggroed on me. That's good, that's good. A hive cave. Oh, that was two right there. Let's 
Knight, two more. And two more of these guys. What the? I did not expect to, uh, didn't even see those. One more venom. And there it is. There. Oh, then. Oh, they have a chance to give me two. Big ones give a, have a chance to give two. Or maybe they always give two. Oh, no. Hi there. Oh, thank goodness. We'll have to keep these little guys away from anything with a big mean stinger out here. Man, I'm going to be busy. If you could protect Koda's little brother, that would be... That would help us out a lot. This is Poda. Alright, got a little thing then. Thank you. And please give Poda lots of snuggles. I'm sure someone will. I mean those things are cute mentally. What have you brought? Dolly likes you. I can tell. What? Well, I know these tunes better than anyone. Well, is that who likes me? Hold on a sec. Just had the, uh... Just need to get my fill. Of the monolites. Ah, witch. Good, 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 good. I'm sure that now. Alright, enough with three. Maybe I'll have a lot later. These should look well. We go with the I can help. That's a lot of juice. Hey, don't die out trade. there. As promised, here's the bomb that should remedy your companion's injuries. Apply it liberally to any bits of exposed flesh. Its effects should be felt immediately. The sand. So I let's hope. You? Where are we? Uh, a little old in and cap. Oh, here and cap, as I mean. Did these creatures come to our aid? The last thing I remember, we were flying over the Seth like Empire. There was a blinding flash of light before things went dark. It is good to see you are safe, but what of the others? Have they been lost to the sands? You need to head back to the quest site and see if the others survive. I will ask around and see if these fox people can tell us anything about what Wakura. Go carefully. What have you brought? Misa told me you came in search of an exile. When named Wakura? We don't know her, but we might be able to help you find her. You help us and we help you. Deal? We survived by scavenging. Which way will we find, but the Sethwak have the set like that waited at Boas made away with many of our knickknacks. I always knew they were ruthless, but never imagined to be so greedy. Take back what the set like have taken, and I'll see that you have are provided the safe passage through the dunes. The dunes have everything we need. Oh, hi. I found this journal buried in the sand. He will try to toss it in the fire. Our wagon, our wagon has no place for a diary, Miwa. What practical use does it have? Don't tell my, tell my said so, but I think it's fascinating. Can you imagine what kind of secrets it holds? 
Quite a few pages are missing, but I bet you can recover them out on the dunes. It's never safe to travel alone. Alright. Let's get this journal together so we can see. So we can see if it'll lead us anywhere. Alright. First, let's go over here. No, yeah, okay, that first. I write this as I sit in a cage with a dozen other exiles, traveling to the sands where we will live out our days, however numbered they may be. The air, heavy with heat, tells me we are close. Ooh. Oh dear. Yes, she's dead. Alliance. Flesh blood displayed as seen in battle. No corpse nearby, and it appears whoever wielded managed to escape. Hmm. So we know one is dead, but maybe the other guy is still alive. Alright, give us the scraps. So there's just, like, whatever items, I guess. 